which ruled the universe. We talked about gravity, which allows us to calculate the motion of the planets. The mechanics created by Newton helped to unleash the Industrial Revolution. Michael Faraday worked out the electromagnetic force, which gave us the wonders of the electric age. And now let's talk about the nuclear age, the stars and the sun. People have been fascinated by the sun. Apollo was the god that strode across the heavens in his fiery chariot. But hey, when you calculate how long coal or oil will burn like the sun, you realize that in just a few hundred years, the sun would burn to a crisp. So what could possibly last for billions of years? There must be a new force, a nuclear force. Einstein and others helped to unravel the secret of the stars. The nuclear force comes in two types, weak and strong. The weak nuclear force governs radioactive decay. The strong nuclear force is one of the strongest forces in the entire universe. It's so strong, it holds our protons together ever since Genesis, the beginning of time. The equation which allows for the liberation of energy is Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. What Einstein showed was that the faster you move, the heavier you get. So your weight is not a constant. When you move very rapidly, you get heavier, something which we measure every day in the laboratory. Now this means that the energy of motion transformed into mass, because you get heavier. Now listen carefully. The faster you move, the heavier you get, which means the energy of motion E turns into M, your mass. And the relationship between E and M is very simple. It takes one second to write it down on a sheet of paper. It is exactly E equals mc squared. So the nuclear force helped to explain the secret of the sun, but it also created a Pandora's box because inside the nucleus of the, of the atom are particles. And when you smash these particles, what do you get? More particles. And when you smash them, what do you get? More particles. In fact, we are drowning in subatomic particles. Hundreds, thousands of subatomic particles every time we smash atoms. Now we smash atoms using something called atom smashers or particle accelerators. I built my own particle accelerator when I was in high school. When I was in high school, I went to my mom one day and I said, Mom, can I have permission to build a 2.3 million electron volt beta 